How you doing? My name is Chris Angel Check, and welcome to a Sharp Fella Barbershop in downtown Riverhead. I opened the business last spring. It's been excellent. When I come in, I first thing is turn everything on, you know, make sure there's towels in the hot towel warmer, make sure there's a lather in the hot lather machine. We do hot towel shaves the old fashioned way. We do it not much different than they used to do it 60, 70 years ago. That's really my whole intention, is that some things that aren't broke don't need to be fixed, as we know. We also do, you know, scissor cuts, uh, razor shaping, you know, all types of stuff that's always been available in the barbershop. This is basically the same image, I guess the image if I close my eyes, what I have in my head, when I first walked into a barbershop in Brooklyn around 1983, and that shop was probably there since the 40s maybe second or third grade, doodling in class rather than <laughs> really you know, doing what I was supposed to do. And uh, when I, like I said, looking back, I seen these, these pictures I used to draw of a guy, scruffy, hair messy, and then next to him would be a guy, slick back hair, skinny mustache, and I wrote before and after. Somewhere around 15, 16, a friend of mine in his basement, we used to cut each other's hair. That's where I really started cutting my own hair you know, perfecting your own facial. You know, back then it was a chin strap beard. After I did a couple of years in the United States Navy, I uh, got the Montgomery GI Bill. Uh, went to barber school in uh, Hell's Kitchen in Manhattan. Uh, since then, that's pretty much all I ever did. There was a time or two that I thought maybe I'd try something else, but I always came back to this. I can't express enough sometimes the feeling that I get when I see their reaction, when I see that, they feel good, they feel confident, they're gonna go out there and get that job, or they're gonna go out there and ask that somebody, you know, out on a date, or whatever they're gonna do, but they, they, they walk out of here with a little extra pep in their step, feeling good, and you know you did that. 